we showed up and our friends showed up. Amen. Amen. So I just want to thank you and welcome the man of God this morning, Brother Tony, as he brings the word. Open your heart Hallelujah. as he brings forth the word. He brings the fire this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The presence of God is here. Amen. Amen. I'm glad I'm here. Amen. I am too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm in the right place at the right time Amen. with the right people doing the right thing. Amen. And when the word gets out, when people taste and see that God is good, Amen. they want more. Yep. Amen. That's right. Amen. They want more. Father, I thank you for this time. It's sanctified and set apart for your glory. Thank you for this time in the word and in the spirit. Thank you for the freedom and the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the gifts of the spirit. We thank you. Thank you for the, your goodness is so good. Hallelujah. You're so good. You're so good. Amen. When you, Amen. You know, when you taste a good baguette in France, you want more. <laughs> you go back to that same bakery. Amen. There's many bakeries. I'm at one down this corner. Which one are you going to get the baguette from? Are you going to go to the one next or are you going to go to the further one? You know, there's certain baguettes that you just learn to get that right crunch. And, <laughs> and like just the texture. She likes it a little bit softer than I do, so we compromise. Are we going to get your baguette or are we going to get my baguette? <laughs> <laughs> and so there's certain ones that we like more than others. So when you, ta when you go to, uh, uh, when you taste that bread, you're like, oh, you want to go back to that same bakery. It's like, oh, I want to go back and get another one. I believe the local church is the bread, serves the bread of life. I do. I believe that when the people of God taste the goodness of God and his word, Amen. they like, mmm, that's good. Amen. I want to go back for more. Where did I get that word of, where did I catch that spirit of faith? Where did I catch that word of faith message? Oh, yeah, I remember. Yes. Faith Christian Center. That's, oh, let's go there. Let's go there. I know what I'm going to get when I get there. I'm going to get that spirit of faith. I'm going to get the spirit of prosperity. I'm not going to catch religion. I'm not going to get a yesterday's manna. I'm going to go to that church and get fresh manna. And that, I believe, is that's what that word is going to go out. And when they start tasting the freedom of the, the, the goodness of God and the liberty, the Lord, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. liberty. I've come in here. I, I've got, I don't do this in every church, but when I have a relationship and conflict, I take my liberty. <laughs> as soon as I walked through that door, I was like, woo, 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 hey, something, oh, yeah, this is a, I, 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 I can be my, I can let the grace of God, because you don't want to receive from Tony Fleege. You don't want to receive from Alexander. You want to receive from the gift and the anointing. And so I come and to yield and to impart that which God has given unto us into the local church. You are faithful partners with us. You have gone with us. Everywhere we go, you have a part with us. We're in Europe, France right now, Paris, and yet we got more doors are opening up for us. And uh, it's awesome to have a, a a local church in the, that has a vision of faith and prosperity and missions. Hallelujah. So I think, I believe there's an impartation that's happening here today. And it's, it's uh, not by might, not by power. I, I, um, uh, we come in the name of Jesus. And so Alex and I, we minister as a team. So she has freedom to come up and interrupt me anytime she wants. It's not, it's, it's, I do the same with her. I'll go up. I say, I think I got something. And she just, we just go because we are a team. We work together. We yield to one another. And of course, we yield to the pastors. We honor the pastors here. And if they say, okay, this is, well, no, we yield one to another. And so when we have that spirit of humility and when we have that freedom of the spirit, where else you want to be? 
What did, where, where else? I mean, you, you can't buy the anointing. You can't buy the presence of God. You no, know, you cannot. Even It's in the presence of God, not forsaking ourselves in assembly. So when we come here, man, I just, we give of the Spirit. Yield to the Spirit. Walk in the Spirit. And, let, and, and people are like, man, this is the place. This is the place. This is an anointed place. Ha <laughs> ha. Glory to God. The word, hallelujah. It's a place. The word, the people will come. And, and it, it, all different sizes and shapes and colors and, and lifestyles. They will come. Hallelujah. They will come. And the power of God is present. And the anointing of God is great. Ter. Everybody say greater. He, how great? He's greater than any demonic oppression, greater than any devil that is on a person that comes in. He's greater. And that anointing, the anointing breaks the yoke. The anointing destroys it. And, but but we, we have a place. There's a corporate anointing in the local church. You, you can receive from home. You can hear the word. You can catch portion of the anointing by hearing and hearing but there's something when you come in the presence in the presence in the anointing there's a corporate anointing flowing here that is you you get by association and being because this the principles of prayer a lot of times is caught you know you can you can have people teach on prayer and how to pray and pray the right way but you get somebody up here praying by the holy ghost it's anointed and you and you learn to follow in that river of prayer flow in the spirit of prayer and there's there's the principles of faith you can teach you can teach faith cometh and all. and we need to have those principles but man when you get with somebody who has the spirit of faith whoo glory to god it's an it's just, it's it's contagious because I know, when you get around people of fear and un- unbelief and doubt, how I many know that spirit tries to get on you as well? It gets on you. And as a church in San Francisco, I got a, I got a word for you. It's not getting free, it's staying free. Stay free. It's so important to have a church that is staying full not getting ready not getting full but staying abiding in his presence and when we do that corporately when i come and you come together in the name of jesus the greater it's like there's a corp you got that corporate team you got paul and silas were in jail and they start. They were. They were. Everybody. The prisoners. Everybody was bound up, but outwardly they were bound, but inwardly free. Amen. And because of two people decided to sing, "Holy, You are holy," and somebody in the, in the other jail cells like, "Ooh, something's on that voice. There's an anointing there. That person's not bound." Holy, and, the, and, and as we yield together, I was yielding, yielding with the worship. Don't just sit there and be entertained. We don't come to be entertained. We come, you don't come, as there's times I do, I have, I've grown. I've been in the ministry for 30 years, and uh, I've learned, you know, there's times where I've come, I needed something. I come to get, you know, I needed that. But as you grow spiritually, you come to give. You come to serve. You come to give your supply because it's so much better to give. So much, not only finances, your time, your voice, your anointing. Amen. I, you know, I just, I, I don't do this everywhere. But when I have that freedom with the pastors and other, oh, hallelujah. And we get that corporate anointing. And as we get that, the, the, what, what is happening in that corporate anointing? The waters are being stirred. Ooh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Waters are being stirred. I'm preaching more than teaching here, but glory to God. Exhorting and encouraging. And um, 
These things that I'm sharing with you is not something new that you haven't heard before. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free, right? But it says, that if you continue to abide in my words, you know, you will know the truth in John chapter 8. It's knowing, knowing those things. And so when you know that truth, and you continue in that truth, what's going to happen? Freedom! Amen? Stay in the truth. Stay in the vine. Stay. Abide. Continue. It's so important. San, Church of San Francisco, glory to God. All, I'm mean, all around the world. But to, 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 uh, to be strong here, to receive people that are oppressed and depressed and sick, you know, it's the anointing. And it's the word. But we... It, and so there's a time for everything, but, but, there's a, as we, a but then we must stay full, continue abiding. And when you abide in the truth, you are free. Because it takes a free person to deliver a bound person. Someone who's bound and oppressed, you try to, you know, no, you are free. You got the anointing, you know the truth, you are abiding in him, the anointing is working in you, and you have authority, and you can help set the captives free because you are abiding in him. You shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. Amen. Amen. And so in Galatians chapter 5, verse 1, this is the, uh, the scripture that came, first came to me when, when uh, I received the invitation to come here. It's like, oh, freedom. That word just came out to me. Freedom. 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 I'm like, freedom, yes. And so in Galatians chapter 5, verse 1, it says, Stand fast, therefore, in the freedom, glory to God, by which Christ, everybody say, has made us free. Church, stay free. Stay in the, abiding in the truth. Continue to walk in that light. You, because, and in, 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 so what, and then it goes on to say, and do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Indeed, I, Paul, say unto you that if you, can, if you become circumcised, Christ will profit you nothing. And I testify against every man. He, so they're, they're talking about grace and works here. But there's also getting entangled in this affair of life. You know, as children of God, we can get entangled with the natural affairs. We can get our eyes off of Christ and onto ourself. We can get our eyes off of the word and onto circumstances. But we, he wants us to stand fast in the liberty. I was raised on a dairy farm, and uh, one of the delights that I like to see was when a, when a cow has a calf, they, uh, it's just a beautiful sight. You know, that calf is born. But on a dairy farm, some people think it's mean. You have to take that little calf away because the, the milk, you, you have to sell the milk. You don't want the calf to drink it all. <laughs> but if it's a beef cow, you let the calf with the cow. But for dairy cows, once, you, once, the, once the cow has a calf, maybe two, one day you'll have the calf with the cow. Or, and then you take the milk and you separately and, and you start feeding the calf from, you still feed the milk from the mother, but it's just, you, you, you want to make profit. And so when you take this calf, you put it in the pen about this. And you, it's a little, little calves are so <laughs> cute. And they grow. They grow fast. And so they, you give them milk for many weeks. And then you start introducing some grain, some corn. Some, and then you start giving them some alfalfa. They starting. To, they don't just live off milk. They they start getting grow. They get, start getting bigger. And after uh, a few months, three or four months, being cared for, the day this is what's the fun part, man. To take that little calf and you open that door, and then it opens to a, a nice open pasture, green pasture. Because it wasn't ready for, you know, to just to be out in that environment. So a lot of times those calves, they like it in there. They don't, they look at that gate, they look at that door and they're like, that's different. 
It's something new out there. I don't want it. This, I get my food. I get my, I got a nice bed here. Everything's comfortable. Everything's nice. And um, so I'm like, I, sometimes I'll take a, a, I'll go back. Cause by that time, they're off the milk. They're no longer on the milk. They've grown to the part where they got this, you know, the corn and the alfalfa. But I'll get a bottle of milk just to, I'll stick it. I, I'm on the outside, and I say, come on. You remember this bottle? They, they stick their neck out, and I get them right to the edge. And their neck is sticking out, but they don't want to step over that line. And I was like, oh, so what do I have to do? I have to go in that pen, push the calf out, push him out. And what's so interesting, when that calf gets out there, at first they're like, they don't know what to do because it's new. It's different. And they just, they, and all of a sudden, they, they, they relax a little bit and they look around. Take another step. Take another step. And they realize that they're free, that they can run. And so they start running in that open pasture. It's so beautiful. The legs are kicking and they're jumping and they're, they're turning. It's a beautiful thing. And I think sometimes as the church... When Jesus said to Lazarus, Lazarus, come forth. And what happened? Lazarus was dead, and he came to life, and he came out all bandaged up in grave clothes, <laughs> and he hopped out. So a miracle took place. So what happened next? Jesus said to his disciples, loose him. And set them free. A miracle took place. We've all been born. Those who have received Christ, we were dead. And we got born again. But when you're born again, your spirit changed. And that is what is the miracle. You become a new creation. Old things have passed away. And all things have become new. But there's some bondages that people have in their life that they need to be set free from. You know, and it's the anointing that sets people free. It's the word that sets people free. And yet, there's times I see, I, I was waiting for somebody to come in here today. I'm like, Lord, somebody comes in here today that is off the streets, that doesn't have anything. I'm ready. I'm ready. And what, why I say that is because in... John chapter 5, there was a pool <laughs> where a lot of people went to. In verse 1, there was a feast of the Jews. Jesus went to Jerusalem, and there, was, and there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool, which is called Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of sick people, blind Lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving, waiting for the moving, wait, waiting for the moving of the water. They're waiting. They were expecting, and um, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. Then whoever stepped in first, after the stirring of the water, was made well of whatever disease he had now a certain man there was no there who had an infirmity 38 years when jesus saw him lying there and knew that he already had been in that condition a long time said to him do you want to be made well the sick man answered sir i have no man to put me in the pool then the water when the water is stirred but while i am coming another step down before me, Jesus said to him, Arise, walk, or take up your bed and walk. And immediately the man was well and took up his bed and walked. I abide when, when we, uh, when the word of God is taught and you receive that word, there is a stirring in your heart. When you're Heart, or we can say when the well is stirred by the hearing of faith, we must step out. When we hear the word, 
that well of salvation is getting stirred. And a lot of times that stirring's happening, but then no one's stepping out. No one is, they're just the water stirring and someone jumped in. They, you know, but we're, this is, we're in a new covenant. This is, this is still in Jesus' days. The new covenant began when he rose again. And so the, when, when the hearing of faith to you, how do miracles happen? By the hearing of faith. Do mir- so when, when the word is taught, hear it. Oh, there's something happening in your spirit, the stirring of the water, and you must respond and step in. Step in that flow. Step in the river. Step in the grace. Step in that, f- and you will be made whole. But there's nobody here to put me in. And that's where I come to, it's like that calf, he had liberty to go out, but I had to go in and kind of shoosh him out. I'd see as, for example, a person here today that has no knowledge of God and is hurting and oppressed and depressed. And if we win, not if, staying free, staying full, when we walk in that freedom, when we all yield to the anointing, Paul and Silas were yielding to the anointing. And as they yielded to the anointing, others got free. Others were free because they yielded to the anointing. They let the rivers flow. And it was a corporate, anoint, in, in, a corporate anointing with two people that spread out to the whole jail. An oasis here. When the word gets out, when there's a place I walk through that door, I get a miracle. But there has to be a remnant of people here, at least two or three, that comes full and are just, ah, oh, man, I'm going to worship God like I never did before. I'm going to worship him because as I yield, there is a stirring happening. And, and some people don't have that person. So we can, you know, Paul said he perceived the man at the, uh, the, the beggar had faith to be healed. He said, he reached out. Money I don't have, silver I don't have, but such as I do have, arise and be healed. And so there are going to be times where they, you know, get out. (laughs) Arise! Go walk! Take someone, a man of faith. You know, it, it just sees there's faith and pulls them up. Pull them out! Pull them out of that, that debt, that, that, that pit. Get out! Amen! We're gonna, we can have that here. But we must stay full. Amen. Miracles, signs, and wonders. Hallelujah. So you come and it, it's, it, you to, for you to be here today, I commend you. It, it, it's... It's not always easy to come to the city and to go to church. It's, it, it's effort. It costs t- it's your time, effort, money, everything. But what's it, what are you doing it for? You're here to be a, a refuge, a, a place where people can be set free, where the anointing is flowing and the word of God is taught and the captives are free. Amen. Amen. So what are... In Second Peter chapter two, Second Peter chapter one, Hallelujah! And there's times where I believe there'll be less preaching and just a lot of manifestation happening because there's good teaching going on here. And when people will come because God's doing something, that God's healing, God's moving. And so in in uh, Second Peter chapter one, verse twelve, for this reason I will not. Be negligent to remind you always of these things. See, that what you've heard me say, you've heard taught before. Though you know and are established in the present truth, yes, I think it is right, as long as I am in this tent, to stir you up. How? By reminding you. I'm here just as... I'm, I, I have nicknames, and one of the nicknames is, is fire you know, a, a stir, a match. And I, I stir yes. people up in remembrance yes. 
of God's word. And so what we're going to do here, I got, I got a, a, a three, four, three screen. We'll, you know, the word of God is always a, a, a launching pad. You know, to launch it, to go, we have a foundation. But let us, let's not just be a word church. Let's be a, a church of the Spirit. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Of the Holy Ghost. And, and, and no, hamasete kana hashit. O paniste kanasta de brofanakatea. O braniki nankonoshi de kana na chikeneto. O panichi kanate. O prasite konoshi kalabata. Mandeko lobroto komachi te kelebratete. Pastor Don, your mouth, boldness. Open your mouth. The anointing. The anointing is upon you. The anointing to, to the, of, of the gifts, of the, oh, to prophesy. I sensed it when you walked up there. I, I, I sensed that, man, the presence. You, I, I could be wrong, but you could have prophesied. You could have stood up here and just prophesied by the Holy Ghost. The Spirit was on you. But you got into the intellectual realm. You got into the natural. And this is what we need to do next. This is what, no, 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 stay in that flow. Just move, move. You're, you, they, people will follow you as you follow the Lord. Move in the Holy Ghost. Step in that flow. You, you, oh, the anointing. And so I, I, I just, there's prof, the prophetic prophecy declaration, the anointing in Jesus' name. To miracles, there was a door open to miracles that's been opened to you because you've done what he told you to do, and you saw that even in the natural there was no way you could do that, but because you open, you 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 obeyed what was open to you, you obeyed what he said to do. You took a step. You just took a step, and as you took that step, the waters parted, and you saw in front of you what he would do and what he said to you. But now there's a door open to you, and it's 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 a miracle door, but it's yeah. your choice to walk through. But that it's open to you. It's open to you and all those who follow you. It's there, and, and it's there for good, and, and and it's there to bless people. And and as Jesus was a man attested by signs, wonders, and miracles, he was attested by the. Holy Holy Spirit, those signs, those wonders, those miracles. And he was a man attested by the, oh, the, those signs and wonders. Some pena tampre cases. And that's what's open to you. Thank you, Jesus. And you know the way. You know the way. You know it. You know it. You know it. Walk in it. In the name of Jesus. Walk in it. Walk in it. Walk in the supernatural. Walk in it. Oh, it's different. It's different. Oh, well, there, other people are not doing that. They're not doing This is how they always done it. No, no. You are anointed. Do it the way you see it. The way you see it done. The way you see it. Oh, in um, fire. Thank you for the anointing, Lord. Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for those open doors. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Hold the rivers. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Mangasiko do kone manaya. Praise God. Glory to God. Makasiti kalabro pokoti kalara bakasite. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Wonderful. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. The Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The anointing. Thank you for the anointing. The anointing, the anointing, the anointing. Thank you, Lord. So when that revelation, see, we must stay free. A remnant of people here that are staying free. They're not coming underneath that bondage. And uh, I remember in Bible school, one day I came to class, I was kind of, I had my, I just had my head down. And my friend came up to me and said, hey, bro, what, you, what are you doing? What's happening to you? 
and, and he comes up to me, devil, get off him. <laughs> he, stir, he, he saw, it just, you know, a mechanic works on a car. And when you work on a car, you get dirty. You're in this world. Sometimes those demons try to get on you. They get on you. And, and you get around people of faith and fire. And they can perceive, hey, some, what's not, hey, the, that, that, something's not, something, hey, we're here, brother. Come on, let's pray through. Let's pray through. I, get off him. You're free. Free. You're free. Free. Amen. You're free. Oh, glory to God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Let's look at, um, there's just, you know, this is like ammunition. Because, again, you are mature enough. I believe you've heard the word that you don't need someone to go push you out. Okay? Unless, you know, it's just, but learning to step out in that stirring. See, how do I maintain that fire and how do I maintain the glow to live and to go and to do? It's a consistently abiding and yielding. And a lot of people are waiting to have that sense of joy. Waiting for that, oh, when I feel God, I'm going to move. I've learned that feelings always follow action. So when I ask, and believe that God loves me? I mean, we know these things, right? How many here believe that God loves you? Yes. Unconditionally. He's not angry with you. He's not adding up your transgressions and sins. He's not, he's not up there trying, looking for something bad and beat you down. No, he's for you. And so when you believe that love he has for you, and you are a new creation in Christ, let's go to that scripture. There's a lot of good shouting ground in that. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, and this is, these are some basic things that we can do to stay free. Stay free. Amen? Because Jesus, just like that calf, I open up that gate. You're free, calf. We, the calf is set free. We have been set free by the blood of Jesus from all the powers of darkness. But let's go to, uh, but this, these, these, this truth here will help us to, uh, to walk in that freedom. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, let's look at this very familiar quoted scripture that we're going to read, continue. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away and all things have become new. We shout Hallelujah. Amen. Then we continue on. Now all things are of God who, what? Has. Has. This is not something future tense. Has. Has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ. And what? Has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing the trespasses of the to them and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. So God's not adding up your transgressions. He has reconciled. And so right there is a freedom scripture. That's a freedom scripture. Glory to God. Amen. That is true freedom. I, he has reconciled me. If justice has been paid, I am free. Amen or amen? <laughs> amen. <laughs> amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Step in that water. Step out. Step, move. Step in that freedom. And when you start walking in that freedom, oh, the glory, the freedom, the joy, the strength, the, uh, the clarity of mind, and all the bondage just starts to fall off us. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 1. These are simple scriptures, but they are Holy Ghost freedom. Ephesians 1, 7, in Him. How many, we are in Him, because if we're in Christ, we're in Him. We have redemption. Have. I have a Bible. 
It's mine. My phone is not on me. I don't have a phone. But when I have something, I have it. It's mine. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace, which he made to abound towards us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known to us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure, which he has purposed in himself. Now let's go to another one more here. Like these are so many of these freedom scriptures in Colossians 1. Verse, uh, let's read 12. Giving thanks to the Father. There's another has. Has qualified us. I mean, to be qualified by Jesus, you don't need any more. You don't need, any, you don't need other verif- anybody else to verify your qualification. When Jesus says you're qualified, you're qualified. Amen. Hallelujah. As to what partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light, this is the right here. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of his son, of the son of his love, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. Those are shout. Those are freedom. Those are those are freedom grounds, man. Those are freedom, Holy Ghost. And so you may be bound you're free in Christ. God set you free. These are promises, but there's things that try to, that are all, but it's the, it's the freedom and the anointing. The anointing is here. The anointing is here to set you free from all the powers of darkness. The water is moving. The water is flowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. The glory. The glory, the glory. The glory. The glory. The glory. Hallelujah. Oh, the glory, the glory. The glory, the glory, the glory, the glory. The glory, the glory. The glory. The glory, the glory, the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The glory. The glory. The glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is your time to step. The waters are being stirred right now. The waters are being stirred. Hallelujah. Revelation has come. Oh, step out. Step out. Step into that river. Step into your freedom. Step into your freedom. Step into your freedom. Hallelujah. 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 Step into the freedom. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. 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 Freedom, 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 freedom. Glory, 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 glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, step out, step out, step out, step out. 
Step out, 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 step out. Ore re ra mam ba ra ra ba ba ra ba se pe re. Step out, step out, step out, step out. Hallelujah. Mam ba ra ra bam ba re, bam ba ra ra bam ba re, bam ba ra ra bam ba ra ba. Bambarele bambara, bambarele bambara, bambarele bambara, bo, bambare, bambaro, bambaralam bam bambare, bambarele bambaralo, bambaralam bam bambando. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Oh, oh, Hallelujah. Step in, the waters are being stirred. Oh, yield, hallelujah. Bara bam bam bara le bam bara la bam bara bam bara la bam bara bam bara la bam bara bam bara la bam bara. Bora masiti. Hallelujah. Bam bara bam bara la bam bara. Hallelujah. So, hallelujah. I saw in the spirit while the waters were being stirred. Praise the Lord. I saw a very, very wide, like pipe-like thing. Like, just think of it wide like that. And what I got in my spirit was that we are in an atmosphere. And when we stay connected with God like this, we're in an atmosphere where an abundance can flow through us. Amen? Sometimes we're, like, in a straw situation. We're not, we are in a situation, so we're receiving, like, in a straw, very narrow, very tight, but right now we are in this window. We are in a season where there's this abundance flowing through. Hallelujah. And so take part in that abundance. Hallelujah. Open up and receive that which God is making available to you. Hallelujah. Let the rivers flow, let the rivers flow, let the rivers flow, let the rivers flow, let the river flow. There's a river in everybody here, let that river flow. There's a river, rivers of living water. Let the rivers flow. The praying in tongues is a supernatural door to the is a door to the supernatural. Oh, let the rivers flow. And the only thing that can stop that flow is you. Hallelujah. Though even God can't, you know, unless you yield to him, that, that river will stay still. And they'll just be bound up. But when you allow that river to flow, when you step out and take that first, oh, kodemakata, or you prophesy, or you lay hands, you know, it's all you yield, yield yourself to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, kalabaka sete le roboko tete la raba papaya. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, le badi di 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 la maya. That young lady right there. Yeah. Can you come here for a minute? Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 
Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He's on you. Simply days, yes, it's possible. And sit down take it here. Hallelujah. There's no looking back. No looking around. Just look to him. And as you do, you go up to higher ground. <laughs> and what was so hard before becomes easier. And what was so difficult before, it, it just becomes light and easier. So don't look back and don't look around. And I get it, it's a new day. It's a new day for you. It's a new day. A better day. A dempentico is palazzi sevlentu in progenista tam precate. And everything that he put in you is there. Everything that he put in you is there. Everything. Everything. It's there. And it's for your good to bless and prosper you. Hallelujah. And all that he has for you. Sempratsi sefredaci. But as long as you look to him, you'll be sustained. As long as you look to him, you'll be, oh, <laughs> you're just, you're, you're going to rise. As long as you look to him, as long as you look at him, you start looking around, you start looking back. It, it, it's not going to be as easy, but you start, you continue to look to him. Oh, <laughs> oh, you're going to grow and grow and grow and grow you did, did, to, into things that you didn't even know. You're going to grow and, and, and enjoy the presence of God in your life and the blessing of the Lord on your life that you didn't even imagine. And that's the Mestam Pregate. As you look to him, stay connected with him and look to him. Not looking around, not looking back, but looking to him through his word by his spirit in fellowship with him and with the saints. As you do those things, <laughs> you're going to see, oh, so much more what he has for you. It'll be like the fog's gone and I see clear. And I see. I see near. And far what the Lord has for me. Can you say that? I see clear and near and far what the Lord has for me. Clarity. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Brando correle ra ra ba 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 so coni calara monchi che le bro panaya. Nengroto coni cana ni che le bro ponece. Lambroto to che ni che le bra fanaya. Brati che le bro to conita alla manaya. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And the whole work is supernatural. What shouldn't have still been here is still here, and it's stronger than it ever was. What man said was impossible with the Lord. Oh, it's <laughs> it's not only possible. It's, <laughs> oh, it's light and it's easy. What man said it was impossible. <laughs> oh, but this and that and the other. No, no, no. So the very nature of the work the very nature of the work will be a sign and a wonder. 
<laughs> not only to you, but to those around you and to those who come and see, and they'll be like, no, it's, it's got to be God. This, has to, this can only be the Lord because I've seen what happened before. It's, this could only be the Lord. Sempete, semprodaskis. <laughs> the mentaskis. <sighs> Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Ha ha ha. Pangaradro Kupala da Kasha. Mingaradro Kupala da Kasha. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In John chapter 4, verse 13, Jesus says, he said, And Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of the water shall thirst again. Of this water shall thirst again. In verse 14, he says, But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be unto him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Hallelujah. 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 In John chapter 7, verse 38, it says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers. Somebody say rivers. Rivers. Rivers of living water. The life of God flowing out of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But finally, on our Isaiah chapter 12, verses 2 and 3, it's what the Lord wants us to notice this morning, that you, you need to be filled before you can overflow. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Some of us have let our river, our well, go low. But we need to be filled so we can overflow. Hallelujah. In Isaiah chapter 12, verse 2, it says, Behold, God is my salvation. And that word in the Hebrew, salvation, means salvation, deliverance, help, victory, prosperity. I will trust and not be afraid, for the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He has also become my salvation, my deliverance, my help, my victory, my prosperity. And verse 3 says, it says, with joy. Somebody say with joy. Ha, ha, ha. Shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation, of deliverance, of help, of victory, and prosperity? Say, with joy. With joy. With joy. Joy is not an emotion. Joy is not just a feeling. Joy of the Lord is a spiritual force that as you enter in and participate in the process, that prosperity, that victory, that deliverance shall flow out of your innermost being and overflow into the lives of others. So let's take a drink this morning. Ha, ha, ha. Say, ha, ha, ha. Now you may say, well, I don't feel like it. Ha, ha, ha. Glory to God. Ha, ha, ha. I'm taken out from the well of salvation this morning. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, Father, for the victory. Thank you, Father, for the prosperity. Thank you, Father, for the deliverance. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. The joy of the Lord is strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I'm not sad. I'm not depressed. His joy strengthens me. Ha, ha, ha. You wake up tomorrow morning. Ha, ha, ha. Devil, you say what? Ha, ha, ha. Bills, you say what? Ha, ha, ha. Crazy neighbor, you say what? Ha, ha, ha. Person laying in the bed next to me, you said what? Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. Ha, ha. Glory to God. Glory. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God, man. Hallelujah. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The joy, everybody say, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Hallelujah. 
ha 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 <laughs> glory to god thank you father thank you father thank you father glory to god hallelujah 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 glory to god glory to god thank you father hallelujah hallelujah glory to god glory to god thank you father hallelujah glory to god first samuel chapter 30 verse 6 says and david was greatly distressed for the people spake of stoning him because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And so you have gotten instructions today on how to encourage yourself in the Lord. If you have a bad report, hallelujah, if you're feeling some kind of way, be like David and encourage yourself in the Lord because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Glory to God. If if you need a strength exchange, hello. If you need a strength exchange, your weakness for his strength, hallelujah. You're tired for his energy. The word of the Lord says, the word of God says, the joy of the Lord is your strength, hallelujah. And so we can choose joy, hallelujah. Ha, 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 ha. We can choose joy, glory to God. We also know that Jesus for the joy that was set before him, hallelujah, endured the cross. There is joy, hallelujah, available for you. There is joy, and the joy of the Lord is your strength. I believe this week you might just have opportunity to have a situation, and this word is going to come back to you. It's going to bubble up, hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is your strength glory to god lift up your hands let's give god glory hallelujah bless the lord hallelujah yes glory to god hallelujah 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 glory to god hallelujah thank you father glory to god glory to god Glory to God. I said glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 The brother Tony alluded to this. I'm going to go to the scripture. Acts chapter 16, verse 25 says, And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. That sounds a little bit to me like they encouraged themselves in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. They prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake. That's a shift. Hallelujah. A shift. Glory to God. There was a great earthquake because they prayed and sang praises. They encouraged themselves in the Lord. They let the joy of the Lord be the their strength hallelujah and it freed them from their situation anybody have the joy of the lord this morning glory to god hallelujah the joy of the lord is our strength glory to god hallelujah thank you father we bless your name hallelujah we give you glory hallelujah we give you glory we thank you for helping us remember 
to encourage ourselves in you. We thank you for stirring up the waters so we can remember we are the head and not the tail, that we are above only and not beneath. Hallelujah. We are victorious everywhere we go because the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells on the inside of us, and we are victorious. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Victory is ours. Hallelujah. Victory is ours. Hallelujah. Victory is ours. And the joy of the Lord is our strength. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. You know, there's another story about David. Some people called him vulgar. Hallelujah. But he danced so much. He praised God so hard that he lost his clothes. Hallelujah. And if people can run around this city naked for no good reason, we can show and give God glory. Hallelujah. Because he's been good. He's been good. He's been good. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I'm not embarrassed, hallelujah. I'm not embarrassed. I'll give God praise anywhere, anytime I feel like it. Because he's been good. He's still good. He's real good, hallelujah. Glory to God. He is our abundant supply. Hallelujah. So good. So good. So good. Hallelujah. For those of you just joining the program, wondering why people are running around, it's because God is good. Hallelujah. And we have joy. Glory to God. There is a party, a dance party in the back. Y'all can't even see. But you know what? We have liberty in him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank God for liberty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to tell you there are so many testimonies of people doing what they had in their heart to do in their body. Glory to God. I tell this story sometimes about the twirl. Y'all know about the twirl? I didn't know about it either. But we were in a service, a little something like this, and the Holy Spirit was like, Michelle, I want you to twirl. I'm like, I don't know what you mean by that. They didn't teach us twirling in Bible school. But I understand the concept. I also recognize that sometimes when God is telling you something, you should just yield. Amen. You know, when they went to circle around Jericho, they didn't ask God 10 questions about that. They just did what they were told to do, and those walls came down. Amen. And so I'm like, you're right, God. You want me to twirl? I'm twirling. Want to see me? Here go. And that's all I did. I didn't have a lot of enthusiasm behind it because I wasn't really sure what we were doing. But as I went, hallelujah, just like the lepers, when Jesus spoke to them, hallelujah, as they went, glory to God, their healing came, hallelujah. As they went, glory to God, walls fell down, glory to God. As they went, hallelujah, there is obedience Hallelujah. There is, there is blessing in obedience. Hallelujah. And so when God says, just give me a shout, sing me a song, run around, glory to God. And for some of us, we just need to stand up. Like that's act of faith too. But whatever it is he says, just do it. Hallelujah. And let, watch him move in your life. Watch breakthrough happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you one more story <laughs> about when I got real, real free. We were at that same church pastor was talking about different building, but um, Heart of the Bay. 
and Dad Hagen was in town, and we were, you know, sitting down, and he was doing his thing, and it was kind of a little Holy Ghost service like this. And he came to my row. I was I'm not going to say he was talking to me in particular, but he came to my row, and he was like, well, you can just keep sitting there like a big dummy if you want to. And I was like, now there's a whole lot of people in my row, amen. But I was like, I'm not a big dummy. So the next time there was a wave in the spirit, amen, I just jumped right on in, hallelujah, and gave him glory, and I have been dancing ever since. Glory to God. There is something that happens when you respond to God with your body, hallelujah, as an act of faith that you believe, hallelujah, that the joy of the Lord is your strength, hallelujah, and we have joy, glory to God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Does anybody else have anything else? Glory to God. Anybody? Hallelujah. All right. I think we've lost them in the back, but that's good. We lost them for a good cause. You got something? No. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you don't have Jesus, you are missing out period, point blank. If you don't have Holy Spirit, you are missing out. Hallelujah. If that's you today and you don't have Jesus and you don't have the Holy Spirit, if you're here in the sanctuary, you can lift up your hands. If you're online, I want to encourage you to take action now. Hallelujah. Go to faithsf.church and go to contact us and say, hey, I want Jesus. I want the Holy Spirit. I want the whole thing. Whatever you want, put it in the contact us page. One of our ministry team members will get out to you as soon as possible because we want you in on the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of God tells us that God has a plan for you. And it is a plan to prosper you and not to frustrate you, but to give you an expected end. And Faith Christian Center of San Francisco is all about partnering with you on your journey of faith. And so if that's you and you want in, like I said, raise your hand if you're in the sanctuary or online faithsf.church. And we will get you what you came for in Jesus' name. Anybody blessed by the word this morning? Hallelujah. Anybody blessed by the spirit of God this morning? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we bless your name and we thank you so much for your presence in service. We thank you for the gifts of the spirit. We thank you for stirring the waters. Hallelujah. We thank you for joy in your presence, in the authority of Jesus. And we receive the change that you have started on the inside of us today, that we will take it forward with us in the authority of Jesus. In Jesus' name, everybody that agreed said amen and amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you would like hands laid on you, you know, there's a blessing. There's a transference of anointing and a transference of blessing. And you'd like that, come up here and we'd love to pray for you and, and, and bless you in the name of Jesus and, and, and believe God for whatever you need to be imparted to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So don't be shy. Just come on up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. If we could get some music when you get a chance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh?
oppression of the enemy. We declare your freedom today. Free and blessed. Coming in and blessed going out. Bless. As you follow him and you say, oh, I know the Lord. He's been so good to me. Oh, I know the Lord. I walk in favor and his victory. Oh, I know the Lord. He gave me what I asked. I know the Lord and I'm so thankful. Oh, for all these good blessings in my life. Oh, he didn't forget anything. <laughs> and he didn't forget a wife. <laughs>
Hallelujah. Anybody else? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. It's good to have been here today. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's just lift our hands and give God praise one more time. Hallelujah. Father, we bless your name. We thank you. You are so good. You are so good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I like that he doesn't forget a single thing. Amen. He's got everything all mapped out, planned out. Hallelujah. We just need to follow him. What you need? <laughs> you need one? Okay. All right. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Glory to God. All right. Well, you know what, you guys, we're going to go ahead and receive the offering this morning. Is anybody blessed today? Amen. All right. If you need an offering envelope, you can lift up your hand. One of our anointed ushers will uh, minister to you. The information will be on screen shortly about how you can give um, online, snail mail, glory to God, here in person, whatever your heart desires. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. That was a good word. Amen. That was a good demonstration, too. I think service sounded a little bit like what we prayed for. For those of you who are here, <laughs> we prayed at 1030. It sounded just, it's laid out just like that. Second Corinthians chapter 9, um, verse 7 says, Every man according as he purposes in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver a cheerful, a happy, prompt to do it giver. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you that you always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. It is God's desire for you to be sufficient and abound and to be able to give anytime you desire to give. Hallelujah. The word goes on to tell you that he gives seed to the sower. So if you want to give and like in this moment, you feel like I don't have anything to give, let him know that you want to be a giver. God will get seed to you so that you can sow in the authority of Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Um, by the way, I forgot it is first Sunday. And so it is Mission Sunday. And um, the Fleeges, um, our, our partners, as I mentioned, we partner with them. Hallelujah. And so this offering this morning is going totally to them. Amen. So please, you know, do what you want to do. Pastor will probably add more to it as well. But we want to be a blessing to them. God sends us what we need right when we need it. Amen. Aren't you glad you came to church today? Can I get a head nod or two? Okay. Amen. Glory to God. And so we want to be a blessing to them as they, as they were obedient and um, ministered what God put in their hearts. Amen. And we do have a confession that we're going to say together that um, we speak over our offering every time. And the reason we do that is because we are full of expectation. And we have been having manifestations. You know what that means? So expectation means you are expecting something. And manifestation is it has shown up. Amen. So we are full of expectation and we get lots of manifestations. Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. Is everybody ready? So you can lift up your phone or your checkbook or whatever represents your, um, um, your seed this morning. And we're going to all um, read this together as soon as it's on screen. And I'm guessing it's not on screen yet. Okay, there we go. All right, you all ready? All right, let's go. Because we are tithers, the windows of heaven are open. The blessing is pouring out. Because we are sowers, we are furnished in abundance for every good work. We receive jobs or better jobs, raises and bonuses, business opportunities, benefits, sales, and commissions, settlements, estates, and inheritances, interest and income, rebates and returns, checks in the mail, supernatural wealth transfer, bills paid off, debts demolished, royalties received, properties acquired, scholarships, and paid vacation time. We are getting our buildings, lands, houses, vehicles, equipment, and airplanes, 
God is bringing into our hands seed, even some great big whopper chunk seed. Hallelujah. We command our harvest to come. Harvest come to us now. Harvesting angels, go get it and bring it to us right now in Jesus' name. Father, we bless your name and we thank you for Faith Christian Center of San Francisco. We thank you for the fleeges. We thank you that this place, this house is good ground. And as we release our seed today, as we present our tithes, we thank you, Father, for receiving them and multiplying them so that many others can hear the word and be set free and stay free like we are and have and will. Glory to God. And so, Father, we release our seed today. We do so in faith and according to your word, expecting that we will always have something to give every time our heart desires, that you are increasing the fruits of our righteousness and that there will always be bread in our household. Father, we thank you for all these things. We believe we receive them in the authority of Jesus and everybody that agreed said amen and amen. You may receive the offering this morning. Hallelujah. We um, want to thank uh, Sister Beverly. Well, uh, we hope you had a good time. Today's her first time here. Let's give her a hand. Glory to God. She stuck it out. We got a little wild, but she didn't get nervous. <laughs> yeah. she, you're used to it. You're kind of you're kind of crowd. Well, amen. Praise the Lord. We're so glad that you uh, joined us today. Hope you will come back again. Hallelujah. And then um, just a few announcements today. I want to recognize or say happy birthday to all of our November birthdays. It's our first service in November. So happy birthday to you. Um, I'm going to give you the best gift at all and not sing happy birthday to you, but know that I mean it. Amen. All right. Don't forget to join us for a weekday morning prayer weekdays at 6 a.m. on the prayer line. If you have any prayer requests, please submit them online at faithsf.church or you can text Minister Barbara. But let us um, please give us the honor of agreeing with you in prayer according to the word of God for whatever need you might have in your life. All right, Wednesday night Bible study, 7 p.m. online only. So please join us for your midweek feeding in Jesus' name. All right, mark your calendars for Saturday, November 18th at 10 a.m. Um, we are hosting a budget workshop. So if you have money or if you need money, you need to be there. Amen. So November 18th, <laughs> November 18th at 10 a.m. We will also have an online, we're going to be live here, but we will also have um, an online option. So if you do need to attend online, please see me because there's a special way that you're going to be able to join. Um, but you won't be able to join if I don't know to send you the link. Amen. So you have money or need money. Where are you going to be on the 18th? Here. Very good. All right. Thank you very much. All right. So we will see you there. And then also, please join us after, uh, after service today for a fellowship. We'll break bread right behind those doors. If you please stand to your feet. I want to uh, do the blessing. Again, we thank you so much. We love you. And you know, what, huh? Oh, that's so sweet. Look at that. I love you guys. Amen. We're going to um, go ahead and do the blessing. Because we, um, that's what uh, pastor was instructed to do, was to um, say this over you all after each service. So lift up your hands and get ready to receive in the authority of Jesus. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Go in peace. Have a great week this week. And remember to stir yourself up. The joy of the Lord is your strength. You are dismissed. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power to the Lord our God. For the Lord Salvation.